It's a 100-person-plus group show, which is less than ideal for anyone, I think, but uh, you make do with what you have and what you signed up for. Uh, so it's like this big show that everybody attends in the school and other sort of art big wigs in Chicago come to attend. Well, it is an MFA show. So the, the show is about every single student who's receiving his or her MFA this year. So it has to include all the students, the, the excellent, excellent students, the students that are good, some of the students that aren't quite as good. Uh, this year seems to be particularly successful. I think the work is of higher quality across the board. There are really fewer clinkers than I've seen in some past years. Um, it attracts curators from around the city. I've seen some gallery owners here tonight. I've seen some arts professionals who come. There's a long tradition of trying to attend the MFA show. I'm from Hong Kong. Everybody's really interested in your camera. I think SAIC is perfect. The freedom that I got in SAIC is really good. I think it's worth it overall. You just go to grad school once in your life and you want to go to the best one. So before I started, I was working full time but at a variety of different freelance part-time occupations. And moving forward, I'm going to continue to do that while applying to more sort of career type jobs, which I'm not sure that are there. I always argue graduate school is not a vocational school. And although I understand that we, what we hope our students will go on to success, they'll go on to productive lives uh, one way or another. Maybe not all of them will be exhibiting artists, but they'll be people for the rest of their lives that I think will touch by the couple years they spent with us. When you have a creative project, you're not really looking for a job. You're looking to get your work funded. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm applying for grants and fellowships and artist residencies. And, um, you know, if anything, that's the value of my education is that, you know, I've exhibited devotion and, <laughs> um, you know, capability. Um, I think grad school and I think uh, school in general costs way too much. That's a thing like our entire generation has to tackle because uh, it's only going to get worse as time goes on. Well, yeah, I mean, I got I got a scholarship to uh, SAIC, but I, you know, it wasn't a full scholarship, so I taken out loans and I, I nanny to pay for my art supplies. You know, student loans, it's just like, how can you even worry about it? It's just so much. It's like, I've never seen $80,000 in my life, so I'm not really worried. I, you know, if, if I need to pay little loan payments, I, you know, I can... I can keep nannying, <laughs> and I'm, I guess maybe because I'm 24, you know, and I feel like I'm still allowed to live with my parents if I need to, yeah. My name is Stacy Zuckerman. I am Allison Zuckerman's mother. We've made an investment in our daughter's education since she was two years old. I think it's paying off in dividends. I think she's happy. I think she's, um, she has a passion. Her lease is up in her apartment in Chicago um, at the end of May. <laughs> she can always come back in the basement. She, she, you know, if she wants to just um, park herself there for a while and until she regroups. Well, I have a great studio set up down there. There's a water softener that occasionally goes on every 20 minutes, so that keeps me on my toes. Um, the only piece I sold was actually presented in my basement. My plumber bought it. Um, he actually titled the piece too and he yelled up to my mom, Hey Stace, how much for the dog with tits? It was a picture of a dog on a woman's body. So um, the basement has been, has been pretty good for me.